Hey guys, Kaiser Klein here for this second video about uh, micro tricks. Uh, this time I'm going to be talking about um, the pull trick, which is uh, most certainly my favorite micro trick. I've been using it and abusing it more and more recently. And um, since it's still quite underused, I would say, uh, and a lot of people don't really know how it works and how to do it. I thought I would uh, dedicate a video to it. Um, so I'm gonna, like you can see, we have a lot of stuff coming. Like I prepared quite a, a lot of little groups of uh, units across the map to show how it works in uh, different situations. Um, so what is the point of this pull trick? The point is to make your units run. It's something that is built in the game. Uh, I would like to make that clear because I quite often actually see people saying that it's a glitch or an exploit or something. It is not. Uh, you can see in the game files, if you open the stats of units in a game file, you can see that there is a speed, which is the normal speed you can see here, uh, for speed, for example. And then there is a, what is called, I think, the max speed. And that is um, what we are going to use. It's uh, the speed at which the units can run at most, essentially. So most of the time they don't have a reason to use this max speed, but under some situations when you force them, they will use this max speed, which is usually 50% higher than the normal speed. Uh, so skirmishers have a normal speed of four, but they potentially can run uh, until up to six speed, which is almost the same as a Hassa, if I find one. Yeah. So you can see, your basically your infantry can run almost as fast as Cav. Uh, that's what it means. So how does it work? It's you, you can't you can't find a more simple mechanic to be honest. It's simply a drag box where you have less units on one hand, more units on the other hand, and then when the units are not super close to each other, um, you can force these ones basically to run and catch up with a bigger group. So essentially, you have your group here. Then you drag box everything together and you tell them to run. It's important on this side. So on the opposite side of, of these guys. So that basically these will want to run here as well. Like these five skirmishers. The three uh, will go here. But because they are so much in the back and they want to kind of catch up. So that these guys don't have to wait. They will just run to make up for it. So that's it. It's a simple click, and you can see that these guys are running much faster than they should, essentially. Uh, I can I can do it again, but we will anyway do it enough times, I think, in this um, in this video. But uh, yeah, it's just one click with a drag box. You need to be at a uh, reasonable range, so your these three skirmishers can't be too close, because then it doesn't work so well. You see they run, but not so much. If they are way too far, then obviously it's not going to work, because they don't even get grouped together at all. So if I would do it like that, for example, you see they are not going to run. Um, so yeah, that's for the basic explanation about it. So now how to abuse it the best? Of course, you can make these three skirmishers run and uh, join your five skirmishers, but that's not very interesting. Um, what you usually want to do with this is to, uh, in some specific cases, you need your units to be faster. For example, let's say you're pushing across the map. Um, of course, you usually don't push only with five cav and three skirmishers, but that's just an example. Uh, and you want your units to just push, so you, you want to be fast, you want to strike, you want to hit your opponent, and you don't want to have to wait for these slow skirmishers because they are the ones you need to wait for, not these calf. So what you're going to do is that you're going to make your skirmishers run so that you can cross the map. Um, so basically you can pull like that. And so now you're going to ask me, yeah, okay, but once they are together, you, you can't pull anymore, right? Like now they did run, so they, they were a bit faster, but at the end of the day, they're still um, going to walk normal, right? If you pull them like this. So that's why you need to kind of spam it. Um, I'm gonna make control groups so that it's a bit easier to do. Uh, it's essentially, you're gonna make them run. 
and then you're gonna stop and make your hussars run and you're gonna see that your skirmishers keep in fact running behind until they reach a point uh, you set the first point so you don't actually need to have still your cav group together you don't need to have a drag box you can then select them away and these guys will still will sorry still keep running um, so now what if you do it more times in a row of course it's gonna make them run all the time so I can do that then stop then again and then stop again tell my house to go away then select your house as again and so on so I think it's clear enough that my skirmishers are most of the time running at essentially I don't know five six speed or whatever at least definitely more than four so you can for example be pushing your opponent maybe 10 seconds faster with this trick or 15 I did it in a tournament recently actually against uh, Lord Raphael um, so yeah that's something you want to do uh, most of the time there's no reason if you have enough cav to pull your whole infantry mass there's no reason to cross the map using this low force speed they have instead of simply pulling with your cav so that's just abusing the fact that the cav is faster and can always keep pulling while at the same time being faster because you see when you pull the units that are pulling not the one being pulled are also slowed down to um, to wait for these guys basically they wait for them so they're slower you can see they don't go full speed that's why you need to then select them yourself and make them run full speed and yeah and now then you can make it faster and faster and usually makes them run even faster it was a bit too many faster in one sentence but I think you got um, the idea so yeah that's one way to use it to just run across the map for example and um, Oh, I actually forgot to show, but I wanted to do it. But I can do it with commissioners instead of my hussars. But uh, it works also on the falconets. So if you have slow falconets, do it with your falconets. You see how fast they're going now? It's like more than four speed for sure. And when they walk normally, they are way slower. And But if you pull them, they just go way faster. And that works with essentially every kind of unit. I'm going to explain later. I'm going to show with different kind of units why uh, it does not work for everything but most of the time it works even with Falks even if they were in shooting mode actually they would still um, it would still work so now another very common case it's um, when you're getting raided and you have one villager a bit away from your base for example he was herding and on a hunt a bit far from your for on a dead animal a bit far from your TC and you want to put it back fast safely in your base so that uh, you can garrison your villain and save it um, so here we're gonna have a cab and he's gonna attack me so if I try to run away when I'm snared of course it's gonna be very slow but even when I'm snared if I just pull the villager with more wheels you need to spam a bit usually that it works but you can see the villager is actually going faster than, than it usually would so it works on villagers as well and this is a good way to to uh, protect your villagers from a, a potential raid and then garrison them in the tower I'm just gonna delete because then it makes it more clear what has been talked about already. Um, so yeah, case one, to just speed up your units and cross the map, for example. Case two, to avoid the raid. And now we're gonna talk about the actual fighting uh, in, in fights. Not exactly during the fights, but before fighting or when you want to escape from a fight, the pull trick can also be uh, very useful. For example here, um, if we would have this case where your skirmishers would get caught by some calf, accidentally just some, some, some calf just going on your skirmishers, it could be more than three of course, and you want to escape, then again you can just pull them away, and um, that's just very efficient, I mean I don't think I need to say more about this, right? Like you can just see that the, the skirmishers are going almost at the same speed as the calf, so they, they in fact have quite an easy time running away, and uh, that's just great for you because then you can save the skirmishers. Oh, motherfucker uh, was still here. Um, and now, I wanted to talk about the opposite. You can actually pull slow units with fast units, that's not a problem. You just need to always have more in the group which is pulling so that the other ones are forced to catch up. I think it was the logic when they coded this that um, you want 
the uh, smaller group of units to catch up with the bigger one. Uh, so they have to run to catch up because there are less units. Um, so for example, you can put it like that. And what works really great with this is that you see when you just drag box your units together, the pikemen and the melee units are always in front of the range units, which means that when you are in the other direction and you pull these guys, they will want the Mamluks and the Pikes, they will want to actually go on the other side of your skirmishers to go in front. So they're gonna get pulled even faster because because they need to be in front of the skirmishers, is how it works in the game, you see? So so now um, let's say I would have my stuff snared in some melee units, same thing, you can make them run. And um, you can see that it works even better because of what I explained of the positioning. If I just pull like that, you see how fast they are. They completely get away from the halberdiers, even when they were caught. Uh, they don't have any problem getting away from this. So yeah, uh, whenever you want to just pull back fast all your melee units when they're snared, just turn around with your skirmishers and pull all your stuff. And you see how fast they will run to uh, go in front of them and they will escape easily from the snare. The snare effect, um, for people who would not know what the snare is, it's the fact that uh, when you, an opponent unit uh, is attacking one of your unit, most of the time your unit will be slower. And usually when you're snared, it means you can't get away. And this is a very efficient way to get away. So, that's a lot of XP for the computers. They will be happy. Uh, now, I wanted to talk about what you do not want to do. I think I have said everything I wanted about this uh, pull trick. I don't see anything else. Of course, then you can always find some new cases, like, uh, I don't know, let's say you want to save your explorer, you can pull it. You can do it with more or less any unit. So, just be creative, use it anytime you feel like it could save your ass, essentially, just, just use it. Um, that's just great. Uh, it takes a bit of APM and of course if you are a bit a lower level player maybe you do not want to be focusing on this kind of stuff but these micro tricks are mostly um, for players let's say above PR25 maybe who already have a good hand on the, uh, on the basics and want to go to the next level uh, micro wise. So what do you not, what do you do not want to do, that's too many do again, but you don't want to be pulling with less units, I say this already, but I want to show what happens, because this is dangerous, always try to make quick mass in your brain and see how many units you have on both sides, here it's easy, but sometimes it's not so easy to see, let's say you have 15 and 16 units, it is not actually going to work, it's going to do the opposite, so these guys are going to catch up, let's say I want to, to I mean they're going to be slower and they're going to melt with the other group, and let's say I would like to pull these eight skirmishers in this direction, so here. What happens is that just at the opposite, these guys are gonna go back and catch up with the group and, and the group of eight was not actually faster, it was, uh, if anything, it was slower, so you don't wanna be doing this. Another thing, when you have two groups of the same size, it's kind of random, I personally haven't really been understanding how it works. The typical is example is when you're Spain and you have a dog and an explorer and you want to pull your dog or pull your explorer. It works kind of half the time. Same with the Navy Scout uh, as friends. Uh, like for example here, this guy is running so everything is going fine. But, uh, well this time it's working as well. Ah, but this time you see the guy is just going back. So don't do it too much when you have only one of each because it feels random. It feels like randomly one unit is going to be pulled and the other is going to be pulling or sometimes it's the opposite. You don't know. Uh, don't use it too much. You can try it if you feel like it's your only way to get away. You can try it to pull like three units with three other units. But most of the time I would not advise it because it's really random. Finally, now, there are some different kind of units in this game. You have uh, military units, of course, and villagers. And then you have stuff like envoys, which is kind of a weird unit. I don't actually really know um, how to call it. Essentially, envoys can never run. They don't have a max speed. Their max speed is the same mm -hmm. like their, their minimum speed, in fact. So, for example, envoys, you don't want to be pulling them because you can try as much as you... Hello? Oh, well, uh, I just learned something, in fact. I tried this 1000 times before, but now it works, so 
Well, looks like my bad. You can actually be pulling envoys. Interesting. Well, you see, even I learned something from my own videos. That's insane. Uh, so let's forget about the envoy and let's focus on the villager and the skirmisher. Uh, you can't pull a different kind of unit. So you can't pull units with villagers and you can't pull villagers with units. So this, of course, works like uh, I showed earlier. You can make them run. But if you try with a villager, it's never ever gonna run. So don't try this, it's just a waste of time. You don't wanna be trying this. Uh, they will always work at the same speed. Uh, sorry, they will always walk at the same speed. Um, so yeah, that's it basically for the, the pull trick. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you soon for another video.